In the picturesque town of Boone, North Carolina, nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains, the unexpected disappearance of a young college student, James Martin Roberts, known affectionately as Martin, has left a community grappling with more questions than answers. This documentary seeks to unravel the threads of this baffling case, exploring who Martin was, the circumstances of his disappearance, and the tireless efforts to find him. Boone, a town known for its vibrant university life and scenic beauty, was shaken on April 21st, 2016, when one of its own vanished seemingly into thin air. Martin, a 19-year-old student, was last seen on the campus of Appalachian State University, leaving behind a trail of mystery and concern. Born and raised in Kernersville, North Carolina, Martin was the quintessential all-American boy. Friends and family remember him as a jovial, friendly young man, always ready with a smile and a helping hand. Martin's journey to Appalachian State University was marked by the typical aspirations of any college student, a pursuit of knowledge, new experiences, and the forging of lifelong friendships. However, his path was not without its challenges. Joining the Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity, Martin embraced university life, but an incident involving drinking and driving led to a turning point. It was a mistake that weighed heavily on him, prompting a period of reflection and a semester away from university life. Returning to Boone, Martin enrolled in online courses at Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. It was a step towards rebuilding, a testament to his resilience and determination to get back on track. Unbeknownst to some of his friends, Martin was planning a return to Appalachian State. It was a plan that spoke of his hopes and dreams, a future that he was slowly piecing back together. As the spring of 2016 blossomed in Boone, Martin seemed to be regaining his footing, but the events of April 21st would leave a void in the hearts of those who knew him, a mystery that began on an ordinary day turned extraordinary. April 21st, 2016 began like any other day in the bustling college town of Boone. Students moved between classes, the spring air was filled with the promise of the coming summer, and Martin Roberts, a 19-year-old student, embarked on a day that would become etched in the memory of this close-knit community. Martin's day started in the apartment he shared with his roommates near the university campus. It was a typical college living situation, marked by the camaraderie and bustle of student life. But Martin never made it to the library. Instead, a chance encounter with his cousin at a bus stop on the corner of River Street and Blowing Rock Road revealed a change in his plans. He mentioned heading to his fraternity house, a destination he would never reach. The hours ticked by, and as evening fell over Boone, Martin's absence began to raise concerns. It was unlike him to not communicate his plans or whereabouts. As night turned into the next day, and there was still no word from Martin, his roommates and family's concern deepened. His father, John Roberts, driven by a growing sense of unease, reached out to Martin's friends and eventually to the authorities. The Boone Police Department, upon receiving the report of a missing student, began piecing together Martin's last known movements. The search for Martin was about to begin, a search that would expand far beyond the boundaries of this university town. The community of Boone, known for its tight-knit and supportive nature, rallied around the Roberts family. Volunteers, many of whom were Martin's fellow students and fraternity brothers, joined the search efforts, combing the campus and surrounding areas for any sign of him. As the sun set on the second day of Martin's disappearance, the reality of the situation began to sink in. Martin Roberts, a beloved son, friend and student, had vanished, leaving behind a trail of questions and very few answers. As the initial shock of Martin Roberts' disappearance settled, the Boone Police Department, along with local volunteers, embarked on an extensive search. The serene landscape of Boone, usually a backdrop to student life and leisure, transformed into a vast area of countless possibilities and hidden dangers. The investigation began with gathering information from those who last saw Martin. The bus stop encounter with his cousin became a focal point offering the last confirmed sighting and a starting point for tracing his steps. Martin's family, desperate for any information, worked tirelessly alongside the authorities. John Roberts, Martin's father, became a familiar and determined figure in the search efforts, 
his hope unwavering despite the passing days. The search expanded beyond the immediate vicinity of Boone, the rugged terrain of the Blue Ridge Parkway, an area Martin was known to frequent, became a key focus. State police helicopters equipped with infrared radar scoured the dense forests and hiking trails, a testament to the thoroughness of the search. Despite these extensive efforts, no trace of Martin was found. The lack of physical evidence was baffling. It was as if he had vanished into thin air. As days turned into weeks, the community's initial surge of hope began to wane. The question on everyone's mind was whether Martin had chosen to disappear or if something more sinister had occurred. The Boone Police Department pursued every lead, interviewing friends, family, and anyone who might have had contact with Martin. They delved into his personal life, seeking clues in his relationships, academic struggles, and state of mind. Martin's note, found in his room, added a layer of complexity to the case. It suggested a desire for change, a break from his current life, but stopped short of indicating any plans to harm himself. This ambiguity fueled various theories, from a planned disappearance to an unexpected encounter leading to tragedy. The disappearance of James Martin Roberts didn't just leave a void in the lives of his family and friends. It sent ripples through the entire Boone community. A town accustomed to the safe, close-knit environment of a university campus was now grappling with the unsettling reality of a missing student. Martin's family, at the heart of this turmoil, found themselves in an unimaginable situation. Each day brought a mix of hope and despair, the emotional toll evident in their tireless search for answers. Martin's friends, too, felt the weight of his absence. The fraternity brothers he had bonded with, the classmates he shared courses with, all struggled to make sense of his sudden disappearance. The broader Boone community, including local businesses, schools, and various organizations, rallied in support. Fundraisers were organized, missing person flyers were distributed, and local media kept Martin's story in the public eye. As weeks turned into months, the fervor of the initial search efforts inevitably waned, but the resolve to find Martin remained. The case had become a fixture in the town's consciousness, a mystery that continued to baffle and concern. The emotional impact extended beyond Boone, reaching online communities and missing person networks. Martin's story resonated with many, drawing attention to the broader issue of missing young adults and the challenges in searching for them. Back in Boone, the Roberts family faced the daunting task of maintaining hope while coping with the daily realities of an unresolved case. Birthdays, holidays, and family gatherings were now marked by Martin's absence, each occasion a reminder of the unresolved questions surrounding his fate. As the investigation continued with no significant leads, the community began to confront the possibility that they might never know what happened to Martin. This uncertainty was perhaps the most challenging aspect to come to terms with. As the days turned into months and then years, the case of James Martin Roberts remained unsolved. The Boone Police Department, committed to finding answers, continued to follow every lead, no matter how small. Theories about what happened to Martin ranged widely. Some speculated that he had intentionally started a new life elsewhere, driven by the desire for a fresh start, as hinted in his note. The image of 19-year-old Martin Roberts is frozen in time for his parents. The East Forsyth High School soccer player turned college student, who would now be 24 years old, is still missing. It, it definitely is very eerie to look at, especially at first, because um, you know Martin has said in my mind five years ago, or even before that, with old pictures that are you know, around the house. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children released a new age progression photo of the Kernersville teen who disappeared in Boone five years ago. Martin was last seen near the Appalachian State University Convocation Center in April 2016. A letter was found in his room indicating he was leaving everyone behind, but made no mention of harming himself. Every day uh, journey, um, you have to live your life, but at the same time, you don't ever want to uh, give any kind of signal for anybody to think that you don't care and you don't miss your son terribly and you don't want him back today uh, if it was humanly possible. 
extensive search efforts by the Boone Police Department and other agencies have resulted in dead ends. Martin's family hopes the new photo showing what their son might look like today will lead to answers. Because we just never know where that one uh, clue or piece of evidence is going to come from that can really blow things open. More than anything, they just want to know their son is okay. We, we continue to have hope until there's a reason not to. And there's days that are good, days that are bad, and there's phone calls that uh, you dread getting. And, and um, But so far, uh, in the end, uh, we haven't had any phone calls that really um, give us a definitive answer. So we continue to have hope. Others feared a more tragic outcome, perhaps an accident or foul play. Martin's digital footprint, including his phone and online activity, was meticulously analysed. Yet it offered no clues post-disappearance. His bank accounts and social media remained untouched, adding to the mystery. The lack of activity on Martin's financial and digital accounts was particularly perplexing. It suggested a sudden and complete disconnection from his previous life, a scenario that is rare and challenging to maintain over an extended period. In today's digital age, going completely off the grid is difficult. Martin's digital silence is one of the most baffling aspects of this case. Martin's family, while holding on to hope, began to consider the possibility that he might not return. The ambiguity of his note left them in a limbo, caught between hope for his safe return and the grief of potential loss. Years after Martin's disappearance, the Boone community continued to remember him. Annual vigils were held, and his story was shared in local and national media, keeping his memory alive. Today marks six years since an App State student went missing. James Martin Roberts vanished from Boone back on this day in 2016. He was last seen walking away from a bus station near the App State University Convocation Center and hasn't, not, and hasn't been seen since. Last year, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children sent out an age progression image. The image created by forensic artists shows what Martin might look like today. The photo on the left there shows him at 19. The photo on the right is the new age progression image. If you have any information about Roberts, call the Boone Police Department, the number 828-268-6900. The case of James Martin Roberts is a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the impact one person can have on so many. It also highlights the challenges faced in missing person cases particularly those involving adults who may have the legal right to disappear if they choose. As the investigation into Martin's disappearance continued, the Boone Police Department remained dedicated to finding answers. They urged anyone with information, no matter how insignificant it might seem, to come forward. The mystery of what happened to James Martin Roberts continues to haunt those who knew him and those who have come to know his story. The hope for closure for answers, remains a distant but fervent wish. The unresolved disappearance of James Martin Roberts not only left an indelible mark on his family and community, but also sparked broader conversations about missing person cases and the mechanisms in place to address them. In the wake of Martin's disappearance, there was increased scrutiny on how missing person cases, especially those involving young adults, are handled. The critical hours and days following a disappearance are often mired in confusion and jurisdictional challenges. The role of media and social networks in missing person cases has been both a boon and a challenge. While they can rapidly disseminate information, they can also spread misinformation, complicating investigations. Despite these challenges, the digital age has also brought new tools to the search for missing persons. Online databases, social media campaigns, and digital forensics have become integral parts of modern investigations. As the years passed, the mystery of Martin's whereabouts continued to loom over Boone. His family, while grappling with the unknown, remained active in raising awareness about his case and others like it. The enduring question, what happened to James Martin Roberts, remains unanswered. His case stands as a poignant reminder of the complexities and emotional toll of missing person cases. As we conclude this exploration into Martin's disappearance, we are left with a narrative that is both deeply personal and universally resonant. It's a story of loss, hope, 
and the unyielding quest for answers in the face of uncertainty. The search for James Martin Roberts continues, as does the hope that one day his family and community will find the closure they so desperately seek. Until then, Martin's story endures, a testament to the enduring power of hope and the unbreakable bond of community in the face of adversity.